in this video lecture i will explain you how to apply the complete load cases in etap software for the uh, four story building okay so firstly i was already done the model which is consisting of four story building so initially i will show you the model then after that i will explain you step by step process of applying the load cases by using etap software okay click on the etap software here now we can say this is the model so if you watch the complete video you can able to understand the complete concepts related to the how to apply the load cases uh, in the real time projects for the building structure okay so now we can say this is a building model which is consisting of your respected uh, story numbers here like this and uh, which is consisting of 3d model and plan model here like this so click on define option for this structure i was taken the uh, grade of the concrete is m30 grade grade of the steel is m uh, 4 and 5 grade steel again in the same process beam section which is consisting of 0 0.23 cross 0 0.3 and column size is 0 0.35 cross 0 0.3 and in the same process i was taking the slab thickness which is consisting of 150 mm so after applying all the uh, section properties uh, slab thickness and beam dimensions column dimensions we need to apply the load cases so basically loads are divided into two categories main categories which is related to the gravity loading condition systems as well as the lateral loading condition system so the loads which has uh, act towards the gravitational force we will call it as gravity loading condition system in the same process if the forces or load which is acting perpendicular to the gravity direction and which is parallel to the height of the structure we will consider it as lateral loading condition system so basically the loads which is comes under the dead loading condition live loading condition again floor loading condition and water tank loading condition which is comes under the gravity loads again in the same process the loads which has come to, comes under the seismic loading condition as well as the wind loading condition will be comes under your respected uh, lateral loading condition so before going to applying the load cases we need to define those load cases in the uh, load patterns okay so for that we need to click on the define option select the load patterns option defaultly in the ETAP software it will be consisting of two types of the load cases which is comes under the dead and live here so now we have to add the remaining load cases which is comes under the seismic load and the wind loading direction condition system okay so here i'm selecting earthquake load which is in x direction condition we need to select the type whether it is comes under dead load or live load or either uh, any kind of the load so here i'm selecting it as seismic loading condition system okay select the seismic condition system here so after selecting property is completed we need to keep the self weight multiplier as zero value why because it will be directly assign those respected values for the lateral loading condition system so now we have to select the next step is to select the uh, is codal provision standard systems okay so for that just i'm selecting here next i'm selecting here as uh, is uh, 1893 2016 code provision standard system so again in this etap software it is also consisting of different types of the codes depends upon your respected consideration depends upon your area you can consider in the etap software it will be consisting of the old code also 1893-2002 but latestly it will be consisting of 1893-2016 click on add new load in the same process we need to add the load which is related to the earthquake load in y direction condition system just i am selecting here click on add new load again in the same process just i am selecting wind load in x we need to select the type which is comes under the wind direction condition system and we, we have to select the is codal provision 875 2015 click on add in the same process just i am selecting the load which is comes under the y direction condition system add button so after adding these respected four types of the lateral loading condition system we need to modify the values which is inside on that particular load cases okay so for that just i am selecting here as seismic load in x direction condition system here okay click on modify lateral load option so default it will be consisting of the tick mark for the x direction y direction condition system so firstly we have to select the direction only in related to the x directional condition property again we have to select the per code value which is nothing but your respected uh, code provision uh, value which is related to the seismic coefficient factor value which is different from different zone condition systems okay so as per 1893 code provision the seismic zones are classified into four categories which is related to zone 2 zone 3 zone 4 zone 5 okay so in zone 5 we will consider basically 0 0.36 value just i am taking the same value here again we have to take the side soil type you can take loose soil or medium soil or rock soil anyone so here i am selecting okay option directly just i am selecting the earthquake load in y direction condition modify lateral load select the direction which is comes under the y direction only okay so here i'm selecting direction y which is existing 0.36 zone so click on okay again i'm selecting the wind load in x direction modify lateral load so you can pick that respected load uh, 
wind speed value. So this value will be available in the appendix page of 1893-2015 code provision. You can directly take that respected your uh, city and you can take the wind load condition system. So as per my consideration, just I'm taking only the 44 meter per second value for my city. Okay. Next I'm selecting the category. So I was already explained what is mean by category in my previous video. You can watch that videos for complete understanding. It will be depends upon the height of the obstacle or near building height and it will be depend upon the terrain category also. Okay. So here I'm se selecting closely spaced objects with the uh, height is greater than 9 meter. Okay. So again just I'm keeping the same values here and we have to say the wind direction angle is x direction which is related to the 0 degrees as well as 180 degrees here. Okay. Just I'm selecting 180 degrees. Click on OK. In the same process, we have to click on OK. Select wind y direction system. Select the modify lateral load. Pick the value of the wind load which is a 44. And we have to select the category which is comes under the 4. And we have to pick this. And we have to select the uh, angle will be of 90 degrees. As well as this respected angle will be 270. Click on OK. Again click on OK option. Again click on OK. Now, now next step is to assign those respective load cases which is comes under the dead load, live load, seismic load as well as wind load for the building structure. This is the important step in this video. Okay. So basically in the dead loading condition system, it will be having separate load cases like self weight condition system. Again, it will be consisting of external wall load and internal wall load, parapet wall load. Again, it will be consisting of the floor load condition system. Again, it will be consisting of the water tank load condition system. Again, it will be consisting of the uh, staircases load also. Okay. But major load cases will be comes under the wall loading condition system and self weight condition system as well as the floor load condition system only. Okay. So for that, firstly, I'm selecting all the building in order to assign the self weight condition system. Okay. Here I'm selecting all the building structure. Go to assign option, select to join point loads, which is comes under the forces. You can select the at the existing loading condition, you can apply the load which is comes under the self weight condition system for both moments as well as the forces as 111. Click on apply. So again, after that, we need to apply the uh, wall load condition system. Okay. Basically, we will calculate the wall load condition system depending upon the wall thickness. Okay. So if you take the external wall loading condition system, it will be consisting of the 230 mm thickness. Okay. So in order to calculate the wall loading condition system, we require density of the brickwork. Density of the brickwork will be varying in between 19 kilonewton per meter square to 20 kilonewton per meter square. For the external wall loading condition, we, we need to multiply the value of 0.23 external wall thickness with uh, unit weight of the brickwork 20 multiplied by each floor height so that it can get the values approximately 13.8 value. Okay. So for that, we need to select the beams, all the beams for assigning the external wall loading condition. Go to select option, property, frame section, select the beams option here. Go to click on close option, click on assign, frame line load, distributed condition system. So here we have to select the add to existing loading condition. Now we have to enter the intensity of the load which is comes under the 13.8 here. Okay. So why because the external walls we will apply for the respective load cases depends upon the thickness of the wall. Okay. So here in this case just I am applying the external wall loading condition system for the whole beam structure. Okay. So if you wanted to design the perfect critical structure then we had to go with uh, additional load cases according to the safety. That's why just I am considering all the loading condition system for the beams. Okay. Click on assign option here. Apply or as apply. Okay, click on apply option so that it will apply the external wall loading condition system which is of 13.8. In the same process, we have to apply the internal wall loading condition system which is comes under 0.12 multiplied by 20 multiplied by 3 meter which is comes under 3.7.5 kilonewton per meter. Here I am taking the intensity 7.5 kilonewton per meter. Click on apply option. Then after that, we need to take the parapet wall loading condition system. So for that, just I am selecting the previous section again. If you calculate the parapet wall load, which is consisting of the height is 1.2 meter, you will get 3 here. Click on apply. Now the next step is to apply the uh, floor load condition system, which is comes under the marble sand tiles, which is laid on the slab section. Okay. So if you take the thickness of the slab, which is comes under 150 mm, 0.15 multiplied by 20, then it will be get approximately 1.5 kilonewton per meter square value. Okay. This 20 value indicates the unit weight of the motor. Okay. So in order to apply the loads, go to select. Select option, properties, slab section, select the slab here, click on select option, close option, select assign option here, shell area load, uniform condition system, add to existing loading condition system, you need to take as 1.5 here, kilonewton per meter square, 
click on apply option so that it will apply the load which is comes under the floor load condition system okay that uh, next load which is comes under the uh, water tank load again it will be consisting of staircases load those are the external loads okay basically we are already applied the critical loads for the billing structure okay that's why just i'm eliminating those respected two types of the loads now the next step is to apply the live loading condition system go to select the previous condition system and select the load type pattern will be of live loading condition system you can apply the load depends upon your consideration according to your is 875 code provision standard system this i'm taking here as 2.5 kN per meter square click on apply option okay so that it will apply the load which is comes under the 2.5 kN per meter square for the slab section <coughs> now the next step is to apply the seismic load but in the etab software if you define the property according to your codal provision standard system as per the zone provisions it will directly assign the properties of load cases itself okay simply no need to apply the load cases like external wall load internal wall load parapet wall load slab load okay it will directly assign the properties according to your zone provision standard system now we have to apply the uh, support condition system go to select the plan select the base click on apply so that it will uh, visible to your respected plan view click on okay option now i am selecting the uh, plan view which is consisting of node points go to assign join point a resistance here select the fixed support conditions click on apply option click on okay option now we have to assign the load combination load combination is very much important in the any kind of the building design structure okay so default we will apply the load combination go to define option select the load combination system just i am selecting here concrete frame design click on apply option okay so that it will assign the load combinations here like this now the next step is to assign the uh, analyze the structure so for that go to analyze option which is placed on the top go to click on check models firstly we had to check whether it the model is having any kind of the errors or not okay click on okay option so that it will check the errors if you have any kind of the errors it will show you the errors otherwise it will not show you any kind of the errors like this okay click on okay go to analyze set load cases to run option select all the load cases click on run now option so that it will do the analysis process before that we need to save the model just i am creating a folder which is consisting of f option <coughs> okay just i am selecting here next i am taking f here click on save option so that it will save the model then it will do the analysis process then after that i will show you the bending moment diagram deflection diagram shear force diagram for the building structure okay so this is a step to step process we have to we have to consider for the assignment of the loading condition system for any building structure according to your considerations of the code provisions okay so please follow these steps for applying the load cases for any kind of the building structure these are the main uh, load cases okay so you have to individually calculate the intensities by manual method okay why because uh, this respected loading distribution will be in etap software it will be consisting of uniformity section okay sometimes it will be consisting of higher load combination for the different types of the beams and sections okay but you have to apply the critical loading condition system in the etap software why because we have to focus on the uh, critical sections which is comes under the safety category now you can see depends upon the deflection diagram it is showing the deflection here like this which is comes under the dead load if you want to see the deflection diagram you can click on the start animation so that it will display your respected deflection diagram for seeing the shear force diagram go to display forces select to frames panel of force here okay click on select your load cases depends upon your consideration select shear to two option click on apply so that it will display a shear force diagram for the consideration in the same process you can click on the moment three three option click on apply so that it will see the bending moment diagram for the building structure under consideration okay so this is the complete process of applying the load cases which is comes under the both gravity loading condition system as well as the lateral loading condition system by using etap software if you have any queries about this respected video please try to text more questions in the below comment box i will try to give answer for the respected questions thank you